Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to a very rainy and uh, miserable vlog. Um, it is absolutely lashing it down today. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've got a new addition. We have a new building that has been put up yesterday afternoon. It was so quick, and I kept it secret from you guys. Uh, it's just going to be a surprise. It cost us about £11,000, I think. So it didn't cost the farm much. And look at this. It's just a lovely, simple pole barn. And in here, we have all of our straw. So we've got 34 bales in here. Uh, this way, it keeps it out of our other shed here. And just gives us so much more room. I mean, the silage is fine there, because you don't have to have a lot of that. Um... The hay pile, well, it's a complete mess. It's all fallen down. That needs to be sorted out at some point. But now we've got this whole area of the barn to use for storing machinery and whatever else. So, yeah, obviously, this morning I've been moving the straw from the messy heap there and stacking it nicely in our new straw barn. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning. It's been raining all morning. I'm hoping it's going to sort of dry up later this afternoon because I have got the John Deere, the 69 on our drill here ready to start drilling the field that we slurry spread over here. Now I'm going to plant soybeans out here. Uh, I decided to do soybeans in the end. Uh, I think it would be quite a nice thing to do. Uh, so yeah, that's what we've got to do this morning, uh, this afternoon even. Um, but first, I haven't had a chance to feed the cows yet, or put any straw bedding down for them. Uh, so that is what we are going to do. I also need to get our milk sold. So hopefully we can get hold of a milk tanker to come and collect, come and collect it. But yeah, I hope you guys are all well, and I hope you are enjoying progress on our farm and enjoying the vlogs that I'm making for you. Um, so here we go, we get that last bit, there's not a lot left in the mixer wagon so and we will get their water topped up, not that they need it, it's sort of filling itself up. Right and we will see if we can get a lorry, which we can, so perfect. So we can sell our milk for 41,000. So that is perfect. We get that sold. And yeah, they completely emptied the mixer wagon. Uh, all we need to do now is hook up to the straw blower and give them some straw, which would be good. But yeah, I'm so pleased with our new shed. Oh, I'm amazed that I managed to keep it secret from you guys. And I'm amazed it only took them an afternoon to put up, which is incredible. They were very, very well organised, the people that I had to come and build it. They came with a team, a little crane, and they just put it up in just one afternoon. So, uh, you definitely can't complain at that service. Alright, so let's get hooked up to the straw chopper, which is in here. I think we've got some bales left in there. Yeah, there's some in there. So it's not going to get too wet on the way. It's not too worrying. So there's our slurry tanker. I just parked it there for now. But yeah, there's a few things which I'd like to get indoors where the straw was, like our maize drill and our mowers, really. I'd quite like to get indoors because it doesn't do it any good being sat outside. Um, so I might do that sort of this afternoon if I can before we go drilling and I'm hoping the rain's going to stop otherwise we're obviously not going to be able to get drilling but I think we could chance it anyway but we'll see so let's start blowing this into here they all seem fairly healthy and happy so um, yeah it seems to be going well up here Happy cows. And they're going to take almost all of our straw. So there we go. That's them done. 
done for another day, so they should be fine. We shouldn't have to touch them until uh, not ne not next not tomorrow the next day. So that should be good. Um, so yes, I will probably put this straw blower back in this shed for now and see if I can move our maze drills into into that shed there just to get it out of the rain because um, we don't want to um, leave them out any longer they've only been out in it this morning so I'm hoping if I can uh, just get them in before they sit out on it all day because we will want to be using it again soon uh, so I'll probably chuck the drone up and get them moved in and everything sorted out and see you guys uh, once we've done that. Run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind crying out its prayer Okay, so that's that done. We will um, probably just leave the New Holland in this shed for now. Just leave it parked up here. So I buried the drill behind the mowers, and I buried the uh, front tank behind the front mower. I'm hoping uh, that the mowers will be used next before the um, before the drills needed. So it should work okay. But most importantly, they're in the dry and they're out of the rain. So that's the most important thing. But what we need to do now hop in the 6-9 and we just need to top up the drill before we go oh we almost hit the merlot then with fertilizer so if we take the cover off it's going to get a little bit wet but it's not going to be open for long we just get this is our fertilizer bag here so we should just be able to hook onto it we're precise. Okey dokey. We'll just make sure we're on properly. There we go. Perfect. So we we'll lift that up. And just get this in the back compartment of the drill here fill that up okay that's that filled up so we just get the cover on there we go perfect so no more uh, rain gets into that seed we we'll pop this back at the end of the shed Away, tucked away in the corner here where it's nice and safe. So, we haven't actually got too much of that left. It might be worth us popping to the shop at some point, uh, to the dealership, and buying some more. Um, we'll just see if we can squeeze part of the Merlot. Just put this back in its shed over here. It's very tight. And there we go. Perfect. So this is a nice busy shed now. We'll shut that door up. And we will turn this around. And then I think all we can do really is is just wait for the um wait for the rain to stop. I mean I might just have to head inside until it stops raining and uh get back to you guys. Sort of when it's stopped raining. I might put the tractor in the shed here, just so it's in the rain, uh, out of the rain even. 
But yeah, I think we'll just have to see if this weather's going to change today. And uh, hopefully we can get drilling. Okay, hello everyone. So as you can see, the rain's just starting to sort of stop. Well, there you go, it's just stopped now. Um, I went in, had a bit of a cup of tea. Didn't have to wait too long. Um, but yeah, I'm so in love with Onion Shed. It's so helpful to have some more space. We can shut this gate now though. Yeah, it's nice and quiet now. It's peaceful. Uh, what we are going to do is get the, in the tractor and head to our field to start drilling. I mean, hopefully it's not going to be too wet. I mean, we just have to see how we get on uh, with the conditions, but it should be okay because it's only rained this morning. It's not rained all night or anything like that. So we should be able to get on to this field and uh, get going fairly well. It's a bit tight in the gate. Oh, don't want to start unfolding just yet. Just got to squeeze it in. There we go. Oh, it is fairly muddy out here. Um, we do seem to be having the tractor sink in a fair bit. So we we'll just have to see if we can sort of crack on without making too much mess. It seems to be doing okay. I mean, it is completely covered, but it's um, hopefully it'll be fine. We try it. Okay, yeah, we're spinning an awful lot, but we'll just see if it is drilling okay. Yeah, it seems to be drilling nicely. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll try and carry on and see what happens okay so we seem to be drilling quite well I've just done the top headland here and um, it's a bit drier up uh, this end of the field uh, we're able to go full speed and um, yeah it's not too bad I mean everything is absolutely covered in mud but as long as the seeds are dropping in the right place and the drills functioning that's all that really matters so we're getting the crop in the ground which is the main thing um, and I think it is generally just drying out as we speak, so it's it's okay. I think we'll be able to quite easily get this done today, and we shouldn't have many issues at all. Um, yeah, it's going to be a nice crop out here. I have a good feeling. We've got our slurry on already, and um, that always is good for the yield you know because it's all natural and there's a fair bit of organic matter in there so it's all good but yeah please do if you guys have any suggestions on if you want me to uh, if you want me to fertilize just with normal solid fertilizer or if you prefer me to use more of our own solid stuff I mean obviously we cannot use uh, slurry or the uh, manure on the crop once it's grown because there's there's no way of getting it out without trampling it all. So, but for the first stages like this, it's good I think to put a nice early coating of slurry on. Uh, it should boost this crop's um, growth a lot. So, yeah. So what I think I do out here is I'll probably chuck the drone up and get a lot of this field done and probably time lapse it for you and uh, hopefully be back when we're uh, halfway through or something
I love GPS. It's just so easy. Drilling with GPS is one of the most satisfying jobs that you can do, I think, uh, in farming. And yeah, this just this is just going so well today. I'm really, really pleased with how it's going. I mean, the drill and tractor is absolutely filthy. We'll have to wash them off uh, pretty much straight away as soon as we get back to the yard. Um, but yeah, I'm just so pleased with how we uh, how we've managed to get these soybeans planted. Even though it was raining all morning, we haven't wasted the day. You know, we managed to get those straw bales moved back into uh, the shed, and um, yeah, and we've managed to plant this field, uh, which is another field off the list. Uh, that we don't have to worry about until it comes to fertilising, so that's uh, really good. Um, we can shut the gate on the way out and know that we're not going to have to come back in here until at some point in the spring, I should imagine, to put its final uh, fertiliser application on, but at the moment it's um, it's pretty good. Uh, hopefully in the near future, in the next couple of days, in the next few vlogs, uh, it's going to be time to harvest our soybeans uh, that we have in the big field and our um, corn. So we still obviously need to find a corn header, but um, the dealership do have them, I know that much. I just haven't brought one yet. I'm just sort of leaving it to the last minute, really, until it's really hectic. <laughs> Probably not the best move for the farm, but. I'm sure it'll be okay. Uh, the dealership are pretty good with us normally. They can get us bits fairly quick. So yeah, last run here. Perfect. So there might be just a little bit down here that I can see. And then um, that's this field done. Let me lower the drill down just get this last little patch. Perfect. Get that folded up. And we will pull out just out here just so we can shut the gate. But blimey, it's certainly looking muddy. I've not seen our 6 9 this dirty ever. So, yeah, look at that. Nice, lovely drilled in soybeans. So, hopefully, they can start to grow. And um, yeah, it'll be another good crop next year off that little field. Um, right, yeah, so we're going to the jet wash. Get this tractor clean. We didn't actually use too much seed or fertilizer out there, so that's always nice. Right, let's get the uh, power washer out. We'll start with the drill. I mean, it's just absolutely covered. We wouldn't even know if there's any broken tines or anything. It's so filthy with mud. Um, yeah, it's not taking too long to get off, which is nice. It cleans up really good. The tractor shouldn't take too long. It's not really got everywhere. It's just the wheels and the bonnet and stuff like that. Even the front weights got dirty. But there we go. I think that will do. This is looking much nicer already. So we're back this drill into the shed. This is generally where it lives, this drill. And a little lean to. And I think that'll probably be it for today's vlog. I mean, it is getting it's quarter past four now. So yeah, time's getting on. There's not a lot else we can do with the day, and there's not much we need to do anyway, so um, we can leave that here, switch it off, but yeah, it's looking good. It's nice to have that field all drilled and ready. Uh, we'll shut this away, uh, because we won't be here until tomorrow now. We'll probably head back home and um, yeah, enjoy, but yeah, this is the main thing about today's vlog, is our new barn. So hopefully one day we'll have this filled to the brim with straw 
And um, yeah, we won't have to worry. Won't have to worry about it getting wet or falling over. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, like I said, next time, hopefully, in the next vlog, we'll be either harvesting our soybeans or our starting to harvest our corn. Obviously, that means we're going to need to use our new corn dryer, which we haven't used yet. So I'm excited to use that. But yeah, the yard's really taking shape, so I'm pleased with our progress. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.